this is the aha moment. If you were born with blue tinted glasses,、uh -huh. nothing would look blue because、uh -huh. that was all you've ever known. Right. 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 So that's the aha. Right. So right here, so I'm, right here, I'm what we're the, up against is that you is don't know. Is the blue know, tint that I don't know I have on? Yes. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful. But that's、mm. why I want you to feel it, especially as a woman, because women are much more、um, available to their own emotions and feelings. Is、mm -hmm. if you could feel like you said it, you said it perfectly. I've abandoned myself in the process of trying to protect myself. It looks like I'm being more considerate of the other person, which is actually about self-preservation. Going back to the child that didn't want to get in trouble, didn't want to upset mom, whatever it is. And so, actually, you're abandoning your own self in the process of self-survival. Now, once you see that, there's got to be some feeling of something. Not like there has to be like I'm forcing it, but when you really wake up and go, "Wow, I have truly," because without going through every item of your romantic relationships and where there was hostility or there was hardship or there was, you know, derogatory ex at your expense. You know there was abuse of some form, and abuse is a big word, but like it could be the way someone spoke to you. Like that's the abandonment of yourself. So if you、mm -hmm. could, you know, if you could collapse all of these experiences,、yeah. there's going to be something there, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what? What? I mean, I get.、It. I I think you're right. There's 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 some sort of imaginary wall between these existences of of me being able to truly feel. It's it, maybe this is it. I don't know. Um, this is the process of healing to be able to feel for the abandoned child, abandoned、yes. inner self, yes, the inner child. Yeah, like if I'm if that's if being that way, and I said it's a, I feel like that'd be abandoning. Yeah, what would it feel like to abandon someone? You're asking that. If I could understand that feeling, if I could start to access that feeling, I would now. Create the relationship with the inner child because that's exactly what I've done to it. Yes, and it gets a little deeper because you're also the inner child. So there's not only、right. the experience of a woman who is denying her own needs, her own worth, the way that people treat her, which is the abandonment of self. But there's the experience of that which is abandoned within you, meaning the little girl. So、yes. the mother that she adores, that she doesn't know what she's done wrong, to feel abandoned by. She also has an experience. Yes, one of the things that I've done in the last year to、um, bridge that gap a little bit because it seems easier. Like, oh, I can handle crap. I can handle、yeah. being treated like shit. I can handle all the、yeah. whatever emotional abuse or anything that's gone on.、Um, is to imagine. The way that someone's treating me, would I ever let them treat my little girl like that? Yeah. And I imagine that to be my inner child. Yeah. And so I somewhat disassociate from it, even though I know it's me. Yes. It's easier to access the ability to treat myself properly if I imagine that it's a little girl in me. Yes, of course, and that's another protection mechanism. Right. So look at the words you use. Like I can handle the emotional abuse and whatever it is. Like yeah, and people might describe you as like, oh no, she's awesome. She's tough would probably be a word. And you look at your career, and the fact that you're competing against guys and in a sport that is, love, you know, all of the things, right? Like that speaks to somebody whose persona has become, you know, very robust, but that doesn't speak to what's beneath it.、Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm like,、mm -hmm. like picking away、mm -hmm. at very gently here. And you're doing a great job. And I know it's a podcast, but like you know,、it's、there、great. is. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm super open. I, no, no, I mean, it's not a no fear it, at all. It's it's beautiful. So, so I still want to come back to what does it feel like because you know the, there's a little bit of like deflection here when you recognize that you have feelings, right? And I'm not talking in a woo woo kind of kumbaya, but you're a sentient being. You're a woman. You know, and an extraordinary woman,、mm -hmm. and a accomplished woman, and a caring woman,、mm -hmm. and the、mm -hmm. degree to which all of that gets kind、mm -hmm. of pushed to one side because you can handle the abuse.、Mm -hmm. As I tell people, just because it's familiar doesn't、mm -hmm. mean it's healthy. Right.、And、totally. So, yeah. So, so can you just, even if it's a word or two, if you recognize the degree to which you've discarded some of your own, like, care of self, what would that leave you feeling? To recognize, wow, I have completely in ways that is not like your fault, but it is your responsibility, is the way I say it. Like it's an unconscious right, process. It's the、right. blue tinted glasses you didn't know,、mm -hmm. so you don't have to feel shame or guilt.、Mm -hmm. But once you see it and go,、mm -hmm. wow, I've really disregarded my needs over and、mm -hmm. over and over.、Mm -hmm. Like, how does that hit you when you really see it? Like negligent. Like yeah.、Um, 
uh, abusive in the opposite way that I express it. Yeah. Right? It's avoidant. Yeah. It's disassociative. Yeah. Even though I express more on the side of codependency or or the anxious attachment or the wanting or diving in or yeah. unpacking, talking. Mm -hmm. It's actually inside of myself. It feels like it is the opposite side of the spectrum, which is the same whole as yeah. we've kind of been expressing. And it would be like I've disassociated with myself. And so it feels... Um, that's why it's so hurtful because that's exactly what I do to myself. There you go. So there's a, there's, now you've used a word that I want, which is it's hurtful. Because all the words, you're super articulate, but they're, all, they're a little bit still from here up, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm just wanting to get a little bit closer mm -hmm. to this thing, which mm -hmm. you have a huge one mm -hmm. of. But really, that's the first glimpse you've given me. It's hurtful. Mm -hmm. Like, and yeah. as much as you can say, I can handle mm -hmm. the emotional abuse of whatever boyfriend this or male dad or it doesn't even have to be male but you get the point i'm sure if i were a fly on the wall of your life i would have witnessed a mm -hmm. lot that is hurtful mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but you've learned to protect mm -hmm. yourself and be okay with it mm -hmm. even though you're not actually okay with it energetically right. and physiologically it will manifest in different ways over time you know you're still young and healthy but over time that's what becomes dis-ease you know manifest physiologically because of the absence of ease in our system because we're actually hurt and hurts, bedfellow, is also fear, scared. Yeah. So that little girl who's protected herself by virtue of becoming tough and resilient is actually hurt and scared. Yeah. She's hurt from a past event that was tough, and mm -hmm. now she's scared of its repetition. Mm -hmm. So hurt is great. Can you find like where there might be the scared, the fear, the concern, the anxiety, the apprehension? Sad. Sad for sure. Like, yeah. uh, worthless. Yeah. Worthless is very, you know, it's a, it's an adult way of saying like there's a feeling of like I'm not special, yeah. I'm not loved, I'm not yeah. wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But all yeah. of that belongs to that little girl. Yeah. Right? So you're doing awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um, unimportant, like yeah. you know, kind of the somewhat of the inner child work that I've done uh, associating with her um, is that she was like, I'm going to be really descriptive. It's going to be sound That's pretty, right. maybe weird to people. Yeah. Um, maybe not to you cause you probably heard everything, but I imagine <laughs> that this inner child, the little girl in me was like, it was as if she was like, sorry, I have to close my eyes, but it's very visual for me. Yeah. Um, it's like up in a tower, like a dome. And mm -hmm. she was inside of the dome and it was like a concrete dome with like just a tiny little hole to see the light. And there was no access. There was like no getting to it. It was like, you know, there's some childhood fictitious story, right, about being up in the tower. Yeah. And then later on, she came down and it was as if she was at the bottom of the tower now. And she was like standing at the doorway, um, but still quiet, always really quiet, no words. Yeah. Because it, like there, it was almost the feeling I got from it was that there was no, it didn't matter anyway. Like there was no point. There was nobody was listening. Right. Um. And then it was as if she finally got taller and like mm. stood next to me. Um, and then I had a recent experience where I was looking to talk to her as I talked to my higher self, my inner child, my soul, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Um, and she has her name. Her name is Lucy. And I went to go talk to her and she was like, uh, she, I said, I hadn't talked to you in a while. How are you doing? And I know this probably sounds so weird to people, but then she was like, that's okay. We're merging. And I was like, what? And then all of a sudden she goes, but you can talk to me anytime you want, just like this. And then all of a sudden this other aspect somewhere else says, this is oneness. Like true oneness is the embodiment of your higher self or your soul or your inner child or whatever you want to call it with the you so that you're totally embodied in, mm -hmm. in your in your life every day, how you live it, what you say, how you feel. Yeah. Anyway, so that's been like the evolution of my inner child work so far. Beautiful and very powerful images, right? Like you look at some of the things like mm -hmm. so height, like extended away yeah. from the ground, like uh -huh. you're separated. Mm -hmm. Concrete is the word you use. It's yeah. not like it was a dome that was made of yeah. linen concrete so right. there's a level of protection and isolation mm -hmm. and the second law of thermodynamics speaks to any isolated object is by virtue of the fact that it's isolated you think of like in a correction facility they put them in solitary confinement that is the ultimate form of isolation and there is going yeah. to be this deleterious effect over time you start mm -hmm. to lose your mind you have no sense of belonging 
So this is where the hurt is and where you also gave a huge tell when you said, you know, and she came down and she was, she didn't have anything to say. She was very quiet. Mm -hmm. And you said, because what's the point? No one's going to listen anyway. That speaks to the dismissiveness that she experienced, right? Mm -hmm. that, and there's no value there. There's no sense of importance. There's mm -hmm. no sense of love. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not curious to hear what my child has to say is the experience, mm -hmm. right? Now you're starting to feel it. Mm -hmm. And this is like the mom that I spoke of at the Hawaii retreat where mm -hmm. she wasn't listening to her son. She was at least doing a quote unquote better job, superimposing her version of superiority or love to, upon him, yeah. but he still wasn't being gotten. Yeah. Yours was obviously very different where as often the case, children are to be seen and not heard. Mm -hmm. So now, you know, I see a little bit of water behind the eyes where mm -hmm. you can see perhaps now, mm -hmm. wow, that little girl was really just disregarded. Mm -hmm. It's one thing to not be loved. It's another thing to feel not wanted. Mm -hmm. Very mm -hmm. similar, but they're very powerfully mm -hmm. different because not being loved is mm -hmm. one thing. Not being wanted has got a form and an energy of disregard. It's removing. Mm -hmm. You can be there and not be loved, but if you're not wanted, then you actually feel displaced. Now that's a different breath, right? Mm -hmm. So there's something energetically that mm -hmm. just got released. So mm -hmm. that I'm guessing is going to be part of your experience is that at times that little girl who I guarantee you is a sweetheart, very shy, very creative, very sensitive, but felt the experience of not being wanted mm -hmm. is my guess. Mm -hmm. and yeah, this is actually like, I mean, again, it's super honest, but this has been actually, I always thought it was my dad that I was getting all the problems from, yeah. but it's my mom. Yeah, that's what I was picking up on. I mean, just in recent experiences of like things that have gone on and like, oh no, I'm going to cry on you. Yeah, it's beautiful. But it was like. It's okay, this is beautiful. Like I realized that this yeah. is the wound, like. 